guys, it's Rachel and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing an updated room tour for you. So I did a room tour last year, but since then I've changed a few things. I've updated some of like the color scheme and honestly it just looks so nice at the moment. So I thought I would film a room tour. Personally, these are like one of my favorite videos to watch. Like I think I'm just so nosy. I love seeing what people's bedrooms look like. But yeah, so I thought I'd film one. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and hit the subscribe button to see more as it really helps my channel to grow and I am so so grateful. So let's go into my room. As you open the door, I mean you sort of can see the main area right there and yes there are a bunch of pets in my room. I'm going to start off with the area behind the door. So behind my door I have a big double mirrored wardrobe and this is super handy because it was built in. So when I moved in, I literally had a wardrobe and I didn't have to worry about getting one. So that was really, really handy. And it's also really nice to have these like full length mirrored doors. It means that I don't need to have a full length mirror anywhere else because it's right on my wardrobe. And then I've got this little stool that just sits in the corner over here. I got this, my mum got me this in my old house, but I like it for this as well because I can sit there and do my makeup or whatever. And yeah, it's just a cute little stool. And of course there's a pet water bowl down there because we have a lot of pets and they like water. So then as you come round straight away, you see my desk. So this is my little desk area. I love this desk. It's, I don't know what it's called. I was gonna say it's, it's the this from Ikea, but I don't actually know what it's called. But it is from Ikea. It's got a little drawer, which is super handy. Um, and I love this chair as well. That was also from Ikea. I've got a little plant on my desk, a globe. At the moment, I've got my 2023 planner and some tape. And I've got like my calendar. And yeah, I just love this little area. It's just like a little creative area, I feel like. And it's nice to have this in my room because I really needed like a little desk space and we don't have like an office or anything. So I feel like this is like my like mini office area, essentially. Then as you come around from that, you see like the main area of my room. So this is what's a bit different, I guess, is I've got this lovely gray rug down, which I love so much. It was only 40 pounds from B&M, which I think is really good for like a really big sized rug. And it looks so nice on my white laminate floor because I've got laminate floor. I just wanted something that was nice and soft to step on. And this rug is like the softest rug I've ever stepped on ever. So I have that, which is really nice. And then over here, I've got my sofa because I wanted to have a little sort of YouTube area that I could film stuff in that was just already set up that I didn't have to worry about. So I've got my sofa there and then I wanted like a nice background. So this is like my feature wall. And as you can see, I've got all these amazing prints on my wall and they are all from Desenio. Um, I absolutely love Desenio's prints. So yeah, I really, really love this little sort of filming area. And I've got this plant wall here as well because I just thought it made it look nicer. And I do really like some like greenery in my room. Um, to the left, I've got my ensuite, but I'm gonna show you that at the end, I think. I'm just gonna continue going around the room. So next to that, I have my drawers, like my bedside drawers. And I've just got some like remotes on for my strip lights, a little plant, my echo dot. Uh, a glass of water, which I apologize I should have removed because I wanted this video to look like really nice and aesthetic, um, but I forgot to move that. Um, so yeah, what I decided was when I was thinking about my room was I was like, I want the bed to be against this back wall as well so that the feature wall has the sofa and the bed. So essentially that's what I've done and I've got the bed in the corner here. So that is my bed. My bed is like so ridiculously comfy. It used to be a four poster bed, but I chopped all the posters off. <laughs> and so now it's just like a normal bed, but I've gone for like having the bedding just be white and gray because I think that is just what looks nicest and it matches the rug really well. Let me just come and show you from like this angle. I just think that looks really nice against that wall. As you can see, Lexi likes my bed and Lily's asleep on the windowsill. Um, but yeah, I've got these two big gray cushions at the back. They were from Matalan. And I've got this lovely gray throw, which was from um, Primark. And I've just got white bedding, which was actually, I managed to get a really, really, really good deal from John Lewis of all places. So 
yeah, this is my bed and I really, really like it. I'm really sorry because I wanted this to look really like pristine like, but it just doesn't. Like it looks so cre like creased. I don't know if it's because Lexi jumped on my bed because I literally tried to make this look really nice and I thought it did and now it looks all crazy. So sorry about that. I think it's still okay, but you know, it's really hard. Like some bedding I found like it really depends what duvet you have to whether it will go like really like crisp, if that makes sense. So that's the best I could do. And then like my bed is pushed up against my window. So I have my window up there and I have like, a good view of all like the gardens um and because it's south facing our garden i get a lot of sun in through there so that's really nice and i've just got these nice pair of curtains which are like a blush pink and then of course lily in the corner <laughs> and then as you come round i've got my chest of drawers which unfortunately if you can see that little gap there it's they've cracked a little bit and i'm so gutted i've had these drawers such a long time um, but that bit's cracked a bit. The rest of them's fine, but they're such a nice little slim pair of drawers because they're perfect for the end of the bed. And I've got my TV on there, so obviously it's perfect because I can just sit in bed and watch TV, which is so nice. And I've also got the printer on the other side. And then as you come round, I've got my Alex drawers, which I absolutely love. I always wanted Alex drawers. And when I moved into this house, I was like, I'm getting Alex drawers. And I love them. Literally, I use them every day. They're amazing. I've got a little plant on there and I've got a little Hollywood like clapper board thing on the back and I've also got um, a little sign that says Hollywood which I got from a little shop on the Hollywood Walk of Fame just to remind me of it and I've also got this picture up here which I've had for years that I love of just like Palm Tree Beach because I love beaches I love holidays and like just reminds me of it it's so nice so as you can, might be able to see along the top, I've got my strip lights up there as well. Because originally I was like, I don't know how big the strip lights that I ordered were gonna be. And I think I just thought, oh, I'll just put them, you know, like along the top of the room. But then I thought if they're on this side, when I'm sat in bed, I'm not gonna be able to see them. So I put them on this side instead, which was a good call. Cause now I can always see them. And then next to my Alex drawers, I have basically like my filming stuff. So I've got my ring light, my tripod, which I'm not using right now because I'm just holding my camera. And I've got a little cat bed, of course, because we need a cat bed in a house full of cats. And then we're back to my desk. So essentially that is like a full loop of my room. So next I will show you my ensuite. My ensuite is just to the left of my sofa and I absolutely love it, it is so nice. So as you can see, it's like a gray tiled color. So nice. And I've also added some like accented pink things in there because I do love pink and gray. I think they go so well together. So I've got like my sink over here and it's got um, a little pink toothbrush holder and a pink soap dispenser. And then I've got this really nice gold circle mirror here, which I love. Um, I do actually love things with a bit of gold on. I'd, I'd like to have a few more things with gold on. And then on the actual, I don't know what you call this. I was gonna call it the worktop, but it's not really a kitchen worktop, but whatever you wanna call that. I've got a few little bits, like these little plants from Ikea and stuff. And I've also got this picture up here of the LA skyline, which I love. Um, so, and I just thought the pink in it like went really well with the back, with the bathroom colors that I've gone for. So I've also got on the floor, I've got a pink bath mat and a little pink bin. You can see the shower, which is a really, really nice shower. And then I've got my little drawers down here, like this little gray set of drawers that I got from Dunelm. And I've got a little plant on there as well. And then literally just my heated towel rail here with some towels on. So yeah, that is my bathroom which I love and I think it looks really nice. So that is pretty much my room. I thought I'd just give you like one sort of zoomed out pan around, but yeah, I really love it. So that was it, that was my room tour. I really hope you enjoyed seeing that. If you did, I'd be so grateful if you could give it a like and hit the subscribe button to make sure that you don't miss any more videos. If you have any videos that you want to see from me, please just let me know in the comments because ultimately I wanna make videos that you guys wanna see. Thanks for watching, bye.